The goal is to kill this action before it would... Uh, before it strikes again. So, yes, they don't get the Warlord's Palace back. But then we still have a Sivir to deal with. Oh, well. We found a way to kind of deal with the Sivir. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Swain first deck here in Swain Spotlight Night. Yesterday, we rolled the dice, determined our random champion to build three decks around with all different regions. It ended up with Swain, probably the, the most versatile champion. Swain just really pairs with everything. You can put a Swain deck with any region and, uh, you know, make a, a very good deck. We were kind of going through that Um yeah, like there's there's definitely ways to make every single region with the Swain decks. So we had to pick three, and I decided to go, of course, Twisted Fate, because on these Champion Spotlight Nights, we want to put together uh, competitive decks. You know, not just only like the most fun decks, but try to build competitive decks with the champions. Uh, so we're going to do Twisted Fate Swain. That's probably the most popular Swain deck. But then besides that, decided to go with Sejuani Swain, because I think Sejuani is very well positioned right now against like the different Sivir decks and things like that. We see the power of Sejuani Gangplank. So let's try Sejuani Swain. And then we're also going to play Viego Swain because of how powerful Viego is. I haven't, I haven't done that one yet, so I think that could be a cool combination. So those will be our three Swain decks for the day. All right, so the first one, Twisted Fate Swain. Nothing too fancy about the deck, except for one card, but, you know, you can kind of see, like, we just got, we got, like, our Krusty Codger and Fortune Croakers that can do self-damage to help level up your Swain. We're going to be using some Powder Kegs with Dreadway Deckhand to be able to make your Mega Rains and Red Cards even better. We got our Death Sand, Scorched Earth, Spray Fins, but I want to play a spicy one. We're going to play one Jack the Winner in here to kind of fill the curve, you know, like, if we don't have our Swain on five, we can have a Jack the Winner on five. I think this is an underrated card it's just you know the five mana five five body is very good it can trade with gangplanks or you know larger units like that like if you're killing a lot of small units maybe there's like a larger unit that's giving you trouble maybe you need to block a ruin runner something like that so you can just have your jack the winner do that or if you have your jack the winner survive you can make these sleep with the fishes that can do four total damage as far as leveling up swain goes or you know two net two damage to the enemy nexus when you have your leveled up swain to stun something so i thought that could be kind of cool to try out so we're going to be doing that uh one of those all right let's get to it let's go play our games we're going to go ahead and head on over to ranked and we'll play five games silver action silver action is pretty pretty popular man the flocks are great but obviously we need our other things that do damage to help enable the flocks I'll keep one flock, because it's just such a good card. That will likely, there we go, will likely find some kind of enabler for it. No attacks. Rats. They attacked. With me having Make It Rain, I just feel like I shouldn't... I don't need rules to know what good from bad. I shouldn't try to trade there. I've got your back. This is justice. Step lightly. Best run run. All right, cool. That worked out. That was a trap. <laughs> that worked out. So we can blow up this Warlord's Palace with the Scorcher. That's kind of nice. Try to keep this action from leveling up. Ooh, Jack. Okay, so the goal is 
that happen. The goal is to kill this action before it would, uh, before it strikes again. So, yes, they don't get the Warlord's Palace back. But then we still have a Sivir to deal with. Oh, well. We found a way to kind of deal with the Sivir. Oh no, beat your eyes, you gotta work on Friday. They still have, like, they have the Waking Sands they can throw out to block Swain as well. Yeah, I guess I have to Death Hand, then flock the Sivir. Because if I Death Hand, then flock, like, the Merciless Hunter, they just, like, you know, they can still easily block this Swain. Um, I think I have to Death Hand, flock, you know, just try to kill Sivir with that. Cool. I was hoping they'd be worried about swing attack and use that. All right. Well, we got rid of Sivir. That's good news. That is definitely good news. Ooh, that's a good draw. Bleh. Bleh. Um, Sprayfin or Jack? Is it's kind of better to play the Jack right now so that, yeah, so we can make the Sleep with the Fishes for next round. So next round I can have Sleep with the Fishes plus, the, you know, like our spell here. Man, these Shurima cards. Watch your head. Attacking with the 5 8 worth it? I don't really know what they're gonna have that would punish me for attacking with the 5 8. Realistically. Chat says sit back. Alright, sit back and win. That's what chat said, just sit back and win. I love to just sit back and win. History will remember us. Good win, that's a good deck. Ooh, we got discard aggro. So yeah, just like Beecher, I said, my plan for Friday, we're, we have our casual Friday streams. Um, what we're going to try for this casual Friday, and maybe a staple of casual Fridays moving forward, is we will do our random number generator on casual Friday and just determine two random champions. Um, and we'll just do it on, on the spot, right? So we'll try to build our best deck. So we're going to just roll the dice, get... get champion A and then roll the dice get champion B and then build a deck with those two champions we'll do that four times <laughs> so those will be our uh, you know so we'll get eight different champions but those will be our four decks uh, on Friday in a couple of days and two days for casual Friday random champ casual Friday that should be a lot of fun And I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna just like get eight champions and then pair them together. I mean, that that is one option we could do. Just get eight random champions and then pair them together the best we can. I think it'd be more fun just to get, like, you know, just four different random pairings and just kind of see which one's the best, and try to build our best deck that we can and head on over to ranked and see what we can do. Maybe we get some Lulu Nautilus. You know, you never know. Get some, you know, Rek'Sai Trindamir. We shall do our best. Let's go and stun. No, I don't have Flock or anything. I just, I mean, I, I could like block with Spiderling and then they get another Spitting Axe. I don't know. 
<laughs> some Fizzinivia. Yeah, we could get some Fizzinivia. You never know. Maybe a flock. Okay, okay. Flock could be nice. Yeah, so ranked is going to reset. Um, when? Next? Okay, a week from today. Next, the 25th. Cool, cool. Dreadway deckhand. Alright, well. I need to stun that thing. So what I want to do is, next round, we have six mana. Dreadway deck hand, red card. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do very much. That's the easiest block alive. Just take a little bit more damage. Take two extra damage. Yeah, we could get some Elisa really in soul action going on. Yeah, you never know. We could get some good decks. You never know. We could get Twisted Fate Swain. <laughs> you know? Like, so you may actually roll some good decks. Now, what do you what do y'all think of the Okay, so should we have a rule where let's say our first deck is Um Uh Draven Sejuani. Okay, that's our first deck. Draven Sejuani. Should we and then, like, let's say for, like, the second deck, we roll Sejuani again. Should we just go ahead and, like, and, you know, like, we get, um, you know, Sejuani plus Jinx. Okay, so our first one's Draven Sejuani, the second one, Jinx Sejuani. Should we, should we re-roll Sejuani so we have eight completely different champions on the day? Or should we allow the same champions to be used twice in different decks? Rules are neat. Yeah, so that's kind of the thing. Like, should we use, should we reroll or not? Never lost a fair game. Played one. No, re yeah. Chat saying reroll, no repeat, same day. So we'll use eight different champions. Cool. I like it. Cause yeah, there's 66 champions. There's plenty of champions. I like it. We'll we will reroll. Okay, so not the absolute best two damage red card, but not bad. I'm kind of expecting Whirling Death if I'm not playing anything. Still, I'm to shoot you. Yeah, definitely expecting a Whirling Death. So they should really be killing Sprayfin, not Twisted Fate. The Twisted Fate, like, I want Twisted Fate dead, right? Because I want to be able to play more Twisted Fates, more, more red cards and gold cards and stuff like that. See, like this is great. We get to play Twisted Fate again. Like that's amazing. Like, so if you're if you're like in that, so if you're like in if you're playing like how the opponent was playing there, you got Whirling Death. Like, kill don't kill the Twisted Fate. Kill like the Spray Fin or something. Yes, it can level up. It's it's gonna it's gonna be a long time before it levels up card wise. I could also probably be more patient, but I wanted the red card. You know, I want to kill this thing before it attacked. You know, obviously, if they play other units after this, I'll be sad, but I wanted to try to kill that before it attacked. Get two damage on that thing. Or get one damage on that thing, so for my death's hand. So that's what we'll do for Casual Fridays. We'll have random champ Casual Fridays. So hopefully y'all join us on Friday. We'll still block, just in case. That will do. With the Swain 2 and O. Oh. Boot! Boot is here! We got Jarvan Shen. Alright, Jarvan Shen, Demacia Ionia. Probably need to keep Sentry. Maybe I just don't keep House Spider. Because, like, obviously we're going to need spells. Maybe we keep them all.
Let's get aggro. Pass. Pass. No. Well, that thing doesn't block that well. Uh, nah. Getting one damage on Young Witch would mean it would die to a Mega Rain. You shall never break water. Waters are still. So I know I can kill the young witch, and then um, don't, you know, we get to block River Shaper and kill it, but then they still get an additional card from that River Shaper. I don't want them getting three cards. Who does not know the name Gotta go with the flow. How spider. Off we go. Blow down. We do have uh yeah, I guess we have five out of twelve here, so this could be nine. Yeah, these crusty codgers, like these this two damage from the crusty codgers really do matter. Why are you here? As far as Swain level up is concerned. So got that sharp side out of their hand, now they don't have sharp side to protect Protégé. Okay. They're down to three cards? Three cards ain't too many. I'm gonna go House Spider, open attack with everything. Uh, not really, especially, uh, also, I'll answer that here in a second, but. Okay, that's a lot of damage they're taking. So that's seven damage, put them down to four. That's a lot of damage. So I want to play the Swain so that next round Death's Hand's done something, All right? Because it should do two to the two two to the first enemy. Oh, that's a great draw. Great great reason to play Swain right there. This should do two to the first enemy and then stun stuff. But okay, they're just gonna open attack. What? Why? Oh, Jarvin. So, can't really stop this Jarvan from killing my Swain. The main question is like, do I want to play new Swain or do I want a Ravenous Flock? Maybe just do this. Mm. I don't really want to use Ravenous Flock on these two, but if they if they would save this uh, protege, I could flock it still. But yeah, the Jarvan with the quick with seven seven power quick attack, I just can't I can't really stop it from happening. I guess if I would shoot the Jarvan, then the Jarvan wouldn't have the barrier anymore, so we'd we trade with the Jarvan. I guess I guess that's a thing. Best draw is like make it rain. Worst Earth, not bad, but not great. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Oh, right, with the quick attack, they wouldn't trade. Right, 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 quick attack. Yeah, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, so, yeah. We did everything perfectly. All right, so we can stun one blocker. We can Scorched Earth, another blocker. But they got five cards over there. Yix getting the, the gift sub from Boo. Thank you, Boo. The fourth? Yeah, fourth sub of the day. Okay, yeah, yeah. Pass? You passing to me? You passing to me? 
But yeah, Mega Rain would have been the best draw, because Mega Rain could, like, maybe kill these, hit the Nexus, stun. That would have been good. Gamma! Getting the gifted sub. Thank you, Gamma. Alright, that's sub goal. Y'all know that means we got some bonus games going on. Alright, we're going to Scorched Earth this thing, so the Swain takes six. Doesn't die. <laughs> that's a pretty crazy stack. It's kind of... It's like we got this M shape. Mwahaha. All right, so they're gonna stay alive here. They go to two. So they're still alive. Mm, I need that make it rain the last round. All right, so we'll. Let them attack first and get the barrier on first. I find them unworthy. Do I even have to block? Like, what if I... I guess I could just take it. Yeah, maybe I'll just take it. I could draw another Swain. There's only one Swain left in the deck, though. But whatever I draw, I can play. So it's not like I have to cast the Mega Rain right now. Oh, that still gets a barrier? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Never mind, never mind. Barrier goes away. Never mind, we good. No quarter. <sighs> one more damage. They're at one. Come on. Three and O. Oh. Yes. Three and O. Oh. No more life steal barriers. Got there. Twisted Fate Ezreal. So we got Twisted Fate Mirror. They're going Ezreal. Um Yeah. Let's see exactly what they're doing. I don't know exactly what's going to be. I know I'm going to keep this hand. We got red card plus make it rain combo. We got sentry plus flock combo. Now we have Swain plus Leviathan combo. Our deck is just combos. Spray fin, draw cards, combo. <laughs> You shall see none of it, Ezreal. The only thing you're going to see is the grave. I don't know why I didn't attack first. Uh, I don't think it really matters. Yeah. Ezreal's Mystic Shot. Alright, so one Ezreal shuffled back into the deck. Gold card. Yeah. I'm always up for a so I don't like you get to draw a card with blue card, but this is basically like us drawing a zero mana deal too, right? It's like a zero mana mystic shot. What we're drawing right there. That that seems like a pretty good card to draw. A zero mana mystic shot. All or nothing. Should be a deck with a lot of go with the flow. spells. I think I can. Um, I think we, we can extend a little bit. Because, yeah, they're just going to be using their spells. Lucky. 
you smiling. Hmm, great card. Make it rain plus static shock's pretty awesome. Especially for Ezreal, like <laughs> they're five out of six immediately, right? Like the make it rain targets count for Ezreal. Maybe we need to play some more Make It Rain Static Shock. As far as Ezreal's concerned. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Get some Dreadway deck hands in there. Get some powder kegs. Okay, I like opponent's deck. Ezreal Twisted Fade, but. Seems like a good plan. Unfortunately, it's 8 out of 12, so even if I cast, like, just, just cast the Mega Rain, it makes it 11 out of 12, so that will not level up Swain. So what do you have to kill large units in these regions? You got, like, you Monster Harpoon, I suppose. Yeah, probably Monster Harpoon. Helps. <laughs> Ruined Rex. Yeah. Ruined Rex is pretty spicy. Then these are all targets for Ezreal. Like, those all level up Ezreal. Yeah, Ruined Rex with Ezreal sounds pretty sweet. Just gonna be playing this, because, you know, to use mana, basically. Wow, discarded Ezreal. Alright, so two Ezreals down. Man, what is their hand that Ezreal is the worst card in their hand? What is this hand? Yeah, because even having, like, so, like, this is, like, their fourth Ezreal they've had. Because even having two Ezreals, you get an, a Mystic Shot. Like, Mystic Shot's amazing. Yeah, they're definitely going to try to have Ezreal burn me out. The goal is to have the Swain hit them. That was a stress testing they discarded, so they draw three. Stress testing and Mystic Shots. So the hope is to stun and that our Swain can you know, can do damage to them. They don't have the Fearsome Blocker. You know, Swain's got that Fearsome, so it can only be blocked by creatures with three or more power, and they do not. So yeah, because then the Swain attack does seven to them. All right, good win, but that was a pretty sweet deck for the opponent. I know, right? We're swimming in LP now, now that the, now that the, the seasonal tournament's over. Now we're swimming in LP. So looks like we got the same deck, I believe. Same opponent. Well, actually got paired together again. That's just gonna happen when you're up here. Not a lot of people up at this high LP, so that's just gonna happen. Am I keeping all these? All these? I just I like how Harpoon can kill Ezreal, right? It looked like Ezreal Ruined Rex are like the main things to kill, like Ezreal Ruined Rex Twist of Fate. The Death Sand can take down a Twisted Fate. Harpoon can kill an Ezreal. Like, basically, if Ezreal's not killing us, I don't know what kills us from what they got. That looks like the card to kill us. Long 
loyalty through conquest. Six is a lot of health. They're just gonna stack up some mystic shots to shoot it or something. Deal me in. Gold card. Holy partner. Bleed for Noxus. So I want to do Death's Hand on their round, so I can turn, so I can do the one point of Nexus damage to enable uh, the Harpoon. Anything else? <laughs> so where we could use some card advantage of our own. Don't really have any right now. Yeah, man, that card is amazing. Alright, Swain's halfway there. So they got rid of a rummage and a mega rain. I could have just done that first. Where do you stand on cold shots? Be nothing left when I'm done. Humanity is obsolete. Obsolete. I'm assuming they're gonna play make it rain and kill my like and to kill the powder keg. And so we'll make our rain back. We'll get two damage. Make our rains. Eh, didn't get to kill the three two, but all right. Swain's leveled up with just that six damage. Make a rain. All right, so that's big. We got to kill Ezreal. Alright, we both got four cards. We got one of their champions dead. They got one of my champions dead. They killed a Swain. But we got to kill an Ezreal. Oh, they get that extra card from Pool Shark. So we know this fifth card is fleeting. Which they did not cast. Destination in sight! That's the fleeting card. Another spray fin. Not bad. I think I'll play Swain before attacking. Yeah. I attack first, they get blocked, they take three, they can uh, Ruined Rex, kill Leviathan. This can make it a lot more difficult for Ruined Rex to kill Leviathan. Or anything. Alright, so four damage on... Old Swain. All right, so I can sentry stun to help out Swain. But then if they have the removal for Swain, then they then they got the double spray fin coming back at me. Otherwise, I can just play spray fin and not worry about attacking. But we are safer against them killing Swain and then attacking back. So basically, we got an aggressive line and a defensive line. All right, aggressive. See if they do kill Swain with the four mana, then they kind of have to block with the spray fins. If I attack with both, yeah. So I think this is okay. You can't do this. 
Yeah, let's get rid of these spray fins. Okay. So we're back to both having four cards again. Oh, they burned in Ezreal that was bleeding because of bleeding rules. Alright, so this is the last Ezreal. Last Ezreal down. So they're going to be able to hit me for another three. Put me down to seven, but they're out of cards. Um, I can't tell what they discarded yet. we got to wait till this resolves. They discarded Ballistic Bond. Okay. All right, so two Ruined Rex gone, one Twisted Fate, all three Ezreals, all three Mystic Shots. What? They passed? They could have attacked? I'm just all three? They didn't do it. I couldn't actually play my spells. Couldn't actually kill them yet. But we will take it! That's a 5-0! Twisted Swain. Swain Spotlight Knight starting off strong. 5 and 0. Oh. That was awesome. That was awesome. Everything worked out really well. The Mega Rain, Death's Hand, Deck Hand, all of that did. Twisted Fate was amazing. Swain plus Leviathan, amazing. That, those two Harpoons came in clutch there that last game. Even the Jack the Winner, right? I think we only played Jack the Winner one time, but it immediately traded with a Ruin Runner. Think of how difficult Ruin Runner is to just get off the board and everything in this kind of deck. Like, Ruin Runner can be a huge problem, but we just got to, you know, have Jack the Winner trade, you know, take one damage and, you know, call it a day. Like, that was a great trade there. So, yeah, the Jack the Winner did its job. Everything did its job. Krusty Codger helped level up Swain pretty fast. Yeah. So there we go. Twisted Swain. Uh, you know, the most popular Swain deck probably for a reason. All right. Good 5-0 to start the day. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, you know, if you're playing Twisted Fate Swain a lot, let me know what you think of, of the card choices we have in here. You know, what do you think of, you know, playing a copy of Jack the Winner? Hopefully y'all, uh, you know, maybe try that. See, see how that one does. But, um, also, you know, let me know what you think of the random champion Fridays, as we talked about in one of those games, like the second, you know, first or second game. Uh, so, you know, casual Friday, we'll try the random champion pairings. Uh, hopefully y'all will enjoy that. That should be a ton of fun. That'll be on Friday. All right, but that's going to be it here for Twisted Fate Swain. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.